what is up everyone, MH here, welcome back to Creative Journey. Uh, in today's video we're going to be talking about ISO and I'm going to touch a little bit again into what is exposure compensation. So in this video I'm actually going to show you um, a couple of different pictures of this building right here so you can see how the ISO is going to affect your, your pictures. So ISO is basically fake light added to your photos um, is going to make your sensor much more sensible to the light but the higher your ISO is going to be the more grain you're going to have the more texture um, it's called noise so you really don't want that in your picture maybe sometimes you can use it for some artistic purpose but usually you don't want any of that on your picture it's just gonna make them look like bad all pictures so okay let me actually tell a couple of pictures of this building i just told you about and i'm gonna be showing you uh, how you your camera is going to react to that now i'm going to show you the difference that the iso can have in your pictures i'm gonna be using f1.8 of aperture so we can let as much light in into the sensor in one one hundred of a second shutter speed the only thing I want to be changing is my ISO so here's the first one you see that's with 1000 ISO you can see a lot of detail from this we still have shadows on the right side of the picture I selected this specific building because it has some lights on the front so, so we have something in there to work with for the next picture I'm going to bump up my ISO to 2000 as you see you can see a little more details from the shadow but but if you take a really close look you see that there's a little bit of noise introduced into this picture now for the next one i'm gonna do 3200 iso you can see every little detail into the photo and just a bit more of iso if you take a really really close look you will notice that there's a lot of noise introducing now into the rise out of the picture where the shadow used to be now for the next one I'm gonna bump up the ISO to 8000 now we can see that there's a lot of light in the picture but the noise you, you don't have to even get close to the picture to notice the, the noise so that's what you always have to keep in mind if you're bumping out your ISO you always want to introduce noise into your pictures remember that it depends too on what model of camera you have there's cameras that can take even like 60,000 ISO no problem now for this last picture I bumped up my ISO to 25,000 now you can see everything is super bright and there's a lot of noise all over the place even in the brightest part so with those examples you now know how the ISO is gonna affect your pictures you know that the higher the ISO the brighter your image is gonna be but you know too that you're gonna start introducing lots and lots of noise into your pictures uh, how much noise you introduce into your pictures is going to depend on your camera the better the expensive sensor that you have the more ISO you can crank up without introducing any noise so it's, it's just about you going out with your camera and trying out um, go, out, go out at night and start cranking up your ISO and see at what point you feel comfortable with the amount of night noise you are introducing into your pictures so now you know how the ISO affects your exposure triangle if you don't want to go down with your short speed because you know it's going to start introducing some camera shaking or because you're shooting moving subjects you know that you can use your aperture open it up so you can actually let more light into your sensor but if that's something you don't look into do neither because you want everything on focus you can uh, use your ISO to make them brighter so just keep in mind how each of the aspects affect your photography uh, and what is it that you're looking to do with that exact picture sometimes you do want blurry in your picture sometimes you don't sometimes you're looking for that depth of field sometimes you don't so it's just all about adapting to your pictures uh, I'm doing this at night so you can actually see what the ISO is but if you are in a super bright day and you want a low short speed and you want to shoot wide open and you have your ISO uh, to 100 to a 50 depending on what your camera is is what your minimum ISO is gonna be too 
uh, it can go like 400, 150, it depends. But anyway, the point is, the point is uh, in a totally different case, you can, you're actually gonna have some too much light into your sensor and it's gonna be super, super overexposed. And then you're gonna use a different uh, object that you have to put in front of your lens so you can let less light go into your sensor. So yeah, every case is gonna be different. Just go out, shoot. Try different stuff, shoot at, shoot different subjects, try different settings, play with with the three of them until you get used to it and you know exactly what you're gonna want to do with each of them when you're taking pictures out there. So that's my video for today. It was a little shorter, but uh, I I hope it was packed with lots of information. Um, and yeah, so I hope you like it. Hit that like button over there. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. I'm gonna leave leave right here my playlist of photography basics and right here my first blog um, it was it was really fun to to make that blog actually uh, I hope to make more of those they are super fun to do the just to introduce b-roll and introduce filmmaking into your daily life is it's kind of it's kind of awesome for real well that's too much problem for me see you in the next one thank you for watching guys